Hey everybody, welcome to talking about images and pre-images of sets with me. Today the big idea is um, using functions on subsets of the domain. So it's like, where does this subset go if we're given a function? What do I mean by that? Let's consider our good old function x squared. Now we know things about x squared. We know, for instance, what he looks like. He looks like this. So my question to you is what can we say about the interval zero to two? Like where does that get mapped to? Well, let's take that for a run. If we've got our interval zero to two, let's say that's where two is, then this interval, let's count this guy. We can just color upward and see all the things that get hit. This point over here of zero four is the last y value that's going to be hit because if we like color upwards for all of this stuff, like there's nothing that goes up that way. Okay, so that means this interval right here is the interval that 0, 2 is going to get mapped to. That's all the y values that 0, 2 maps to. And we can write this like this. OK, so not that bad of an idea. It's just where does an interval get mapped to using a function f? But now we're going to stick some gross definition onto it because we're mathematicians, and why not? So here we go. Given our function f going from a to b, we're going to talk about a subset of a, a subset called s. So we're going to say f of this subset s, which is going to end up being a subset of b, is going to be the image of s under f. And that set is denoted with this formal notation. But really, all this interprets to in English is all the things S maps to. So, right, you've got something in S, and we want to know what it maps to. So, that's what an image is. It's all the things that are going to get mapped to. So, let's do a couple of examples. We've got a couple of functions written in different ways. So let's say we've got to talk, we want to talk about the image of the set 2, 3, given this function r that looks like this. So then we go ahead and we look at this. We say 2 is mapping to 4. We say 3 is mapping to 6. So the image of the set 2, 3 is the set 4 and 6. OK, and then the image of the interval 0 to 2, given our x squared that we just talked about, we can say the image of the interval 0 to 2, and then we can denote that just f of 0 to 2, Oops. square bracket. It's going to be equal to the interval 0 to 4, and yes, Square brackets do matter, just in case you're wondering. For instance, we wouldn't have quite gotten up to 4 if we had been talking about a round bracket here on 2. We would want to put a round bracket on 4. But we're dealing with closed brackets in this example, so let's put our square brackets back on. OK, so this part isn't usually so bad. It's just like, OK, I just have to figure out where all these elements get mapped to. Now we're going to kind of talk about going in reverse. We're going to talk about pre-images. What I mean by that is, here we go. First off, I know it's confusing notation, but we've got a function. It's going from A to B. And we have a subset of B. We're going to call it T. We say that this, which is not an inverse, I'm not sure who decided on this notation, but it's not inverse. We call this the pre-image of t under f. And what this means is all the things 
that are going to map to the set T. So all the things where they got mapped to T. So those are the English words that go with that, and I feel like that's much less scary than this notation. Again, this notation right here, bad notation. This does not mean inverse. Um, in general, just assume by default that notation is going to be uh, is going to mean inverse, like on an exam, unless otherwise specified, it's going to mean inverse. I cannot expect you to know it means pre-image unless I tell you. If I tell you it's an inverse, then you get, or if I tell you it's a pre-image, that's when you assume it's pre-image. All other cases, assume it's inverse. Um, it's not even really that closely related to the inverse, which makes it even more bizarre notation, because you don't even need the inverse to exist in order to find a pre-image. And I'm going to prove that to you by doing a couple of examples. So here are some familiar functions for part A. We are now going to find the pre-image of this set for 6. So 4 got mapped to by the number 2. 6 got mapped to by the number 3. So the pre-image, r to the negative 1, of oops, 4, 6, is going to be the set 2, 3. Not too sharp. Kind of probably what we expected. Now let's look at the pre-image for x squared for the interval 0 to 4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw myself a picture. So here we go. 0 to 4 is what we're looking at. We want to know what could map to this interval 0 to 4? And to figure that out, I just shade really far left and right. And I think about what x values I'm hitting. Here we go. That would be the point 0, 2. This would be the point, uh, oh, not 0, 2, 2, 4, and negative 2, 4. So everything here in this interval is going to map to 0, 4. So notice this is different from what we got before. Before we looked at just the interval 0 to 2, and we got 0, 4. But then when we looked at the pre-image of 0, 4, we got something different because there's more things in here that map to 0 and 4, so more things this side that map to 0, 4 than just this interval here. There were other things that could map there. So that's pretty interesting. Also, not invertible, because look at that domain, not invertible, and we found a um, pre-image just fine. Okay, let's do this kind of calculation again. Let's go find another image and pre-image for a different function just to make sure that we're all on the same page. So now we're going to do a function g, and it's defined to be um, sine of x. Nothing beats a good picture for these problems. Let's go ahead and do that. So here's pi over 2. This is pi. 3 pi over 2. 2 pi. Okay. And we are looking at where the 0 to 2, uh, the 0 to pi over 2 interval gets mapped to. So if I color up and down, to figure out what y values this hits. I'm just like, ah, here we go. So I'm hitting this right here. That's going to be 0 to 1. So the image of the interval 0 to pi over 2 is equal 
to 0 to 1. And so now what I want to do is I want to look at the pre-image of 0 to 1. What is that going to be? Once again, I'm going to draw my sign. It's pi, 2 pi. Okay. Now I want to look at 0 to 1, this interval here, and we're going to go find a pre-image. So I'm going to color left to right for pre-image and figure out everything that got hit. I think, okay, so this is what gets hit. And so everything 0 to pi is the pre-image. This is very important um, concept for you guys to note. Let's make a note about it. Note that the pre-image of the image did not just simply undo each other. We did not just get back to where we started. And so you have to be careful whenever you see like this and this, and we're talking about images, they don't cancel each other out. You can't just be like, oh, that's just gonna be zero to pi over two. It's not true. You might have more things that are mapping to the same places. One to one is this problem. So like, this is also not a one to one function. Whatever maps to right here, there's another place that maps to that same y value, and it's all the way over there. Those are both going to be things that need to be in the pre-image that weren't necessarily in the original interval, and so they're not undoing each other. Um, something that you... Or did it... Okay, we're going to leave it there before I say too much. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a not equals. Um, once again, listen to what I say, not necessarily what I write apparently. Um, but I'm leaving this here. And we'll get into the theory behind why this is happening next time. Do yourself a favor, go do the more like calculation based homework problem that was assigned and get very comfortable with going, what's the image of this? What's the pre-image of this? And just so you can start feeling very comfortable with those definitions before we hit next time and we move into the theory. Okay, that's all I've got though for right now. So I'll see you all next time.